Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal for those of you who are new here and on this channel I talk about all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle but mostly I talk about fashion on here because I love fashion um, and today is no different. Today's a fashion video I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I'm going to be actually unboxing a few luxury pieces that I just recently picked up. I guess you could say these were like Christmas gifts to myself okay and then I also wanted to share with you my collection of luxury pieces or luxury fashion items that I've purchased throughout this year um, because I do believe this will be my last video of 2021 I know I'm so sad 2021 is was here and gone it seems like so yeah so I just wanted to share with you guys um, all the luxury items that I purchased over this past year and kind of give you my thoughts whether or not I you know regret buying them or whether or not I'm still happy with some of these pieces so yeah so if you're interested in seeing two um, luxury pieces that I just recently got and also hearing my thoughts on and seeing my collection of luxury pieces that I've recently purchased this year then yeah just keep watching all right so I'm gonna do the unboxing first um, actually I've already unboxed these because I'm just I'm a very impatient person and I was a little anxious to see these pieces for myself and to see whether or not you know I really like them um, so I've already unboxed them so I'm just gonna kind of do a little small little unboxing so yeah so the first thing I got is from Burberry and this is what the packaging looks like and all both of these pieces came um, via Farfetch and I love Farfetch that's where I get um, or have been getting a lot of my luxury items um, from and they're just like if you don't know what that is it's like a retailer online retailer they source um, pieces from all over the all over the world actually I've gotten pieces um, from Italy and from France and just and, and mostly a lot of my stuff comes from the US actually um, but yeah so they source and get their items from all different places in the world so and they are authentic pieces like these are not this is not like a knockoff site because you know there's some of those kind of sites out there but this is these are pieces that are authentic that are coming from different boutiques throughout the world so um, yeah so the first thing I got is from Burberry like I said and this has been on my wish list for a while I want to say you probably you guys probably already know what it is just based off of the box because it's a small box um, but like I said, I've already unboxed it, but here it is, and it is a um, Burberry scarf, and I've always, I've always loved Burberry. I think, if I, if I have to be honest, I think Burberry is probably the first luxury brand that I really love, because I love the print. Um, I am a big, huge fan of, um, like, checker print. I'm a huge fan of checker print and animal print. Are probably my two favorite after that it would be polka dots um so yeah i love checkered print and so i think that's why i kind of fell in love with burberry um in the big you know in in the beginning of my like my luxury journey i guess um way before i started doing youtube way before i even cared about brands and like that you know anything like that i just always love burberry because it's like it's a very it's not like one of those in your in your face kind of brands you know like with the logo although I guess the Burberry check is their logo but it's not like most brands where it's like in your face like Gucci and you know a lot of a lot of brands where their logo is just planted all over the place like Louis Vuitton you know even though I love those those brands and I have lots of things from Gucci um, I think Burberry and Prada are probably will always be like my favorite brands because there's just luxury brands but you would never tell that they are Prada or you would never tell they're they're Burberry unless you know I guess Burberry you would be able to tell but anyway I am blabbering so this is a scarf that I got and it's just um just a simple scarf and um it has the um the little Burberry tag here on it here um and I've already taken off some of the tags because it came with some tags and I've already worn this actually um, cause it smells like my, my cologne, my perfume, but yeah, just a very simple scarf. It's that time of year where we're going to be bundling up and having to wear scarves. So this is definitely a good investment piece. I feel like, cause I love scarves and I feel like I'll have this for years. It's made out of cashmere, hundred percent cashmere and just so soft and just so buttery, just, you know, to wrap up with in the um, winter time. So yeah, so this was my Christmas gift to myself, I guess. Um, so I'm very, very, very pleased with it. It's very it's small it's not too big but it's just enough to keep you know my neck and you know warm in the winter time so yeah so that is the first item I got 
and just a Burberry scarf and I highly recommend these if you don't have one and you love scarves I highly recommend Burberry scarf because you know you just can't go wrong with it all right the next item I got is from Gucci I know I was talking about Gucci and their brand and you know things being plastered everywhere with Gucci but um yeah I love I love Gucci brand I, I just love it um so you probably already can tell by the box what this is I've already unboxed this actually like I said like I wish I wouldn't have unboxed it because it was like wrapped really nicely with the ribbon and everything so anyway um so let me just open this up for you guys and you probably like I said already know what these what this is I already have these actually in another color so I had to get them in another color because that's just what I do when I like something I tend to get it in multiple colors so and yeah luxury items are no different so um, I got the Gucci loafers and yeah I just had to get them I wanted them I've always wanted them in white um, and I was debating whether or not to get them in white because white or actually this is more like an off-white cream color because you know it's hard to keep white clean and I'm so accident prone and I just know it's an accident waiting to happen but I just had to get them and uh, they smell so good like that that fresh leather smell oh my god I love it so yeah I got mine in a size 40 and a half I am a nine and a half to ten um, US sizes so I actually went up a size in these I have these in another color that I'm gonna show you guys in a minute but I got those in a 40 and they just fit but I wanted just a little bit more room because I'm planning on wearing these um, in the cold months as well I know it's crazy but I'm gonna wear them with like some thick socks so that's why I kind of went up on these I'm probably gonna regret that especially when it when summer <laughs> spring and summer rolls around and I'm gonna win that I'll wear these barefoot um, they'll probably I hope hoping I'm not gonna speak that on myself I'm hoping they won't pop off my foot but I feel like the 40 and a half is a little bit is a little bit better they're a little bit more roomy and I'm sure these will stretch pretty sure these will stretch um, actually they will stretch over time so yeah I'll probably have to just continue to wear these with socks but I want to I'd rather get them a little bit bigger than to have than to have them just fit and so but yeah so these are what I got I love them and I want I really want to get them in red but I don't even think they sell them in red anymore like I think maybe the color red is discontinued or maybe they have it like in a different color red because I've been looking all over the place for them in red like I love red red is like one of my favorite colors and I'm hoping I can find these in red so but yeah so that's my luxury unboxing um, of new items that I got so now I'm gonna go and you know talk to you guys about some of the pieces that I've you know gotten throughout the year um, some of my luxury pieces so we'll start with the jewelry and then I'll do like the shoes and handbags because that's pretty much all I have is shoes handbags and jewelry so uh, let me just start with actually I have some sunglasses too um, so I'm just gonna start with the first item and it's just this Gucci ring I got this if you guys been following me you'll remember I got this for my um, around my birthday last this year in January this I did like a huge luxury unboxing and this was part of that unboxing was um, this Gucci ring I know it's very much so very much so probably too much and I probably probably shouldn't have spent that much money on a ring but I love it I love the pearls because um, I'm a big fan a huge fan of pearls so I love the pearls and I love the Gigi in the middle of it so yeah I'm gonna keep this on actually throughout the main of the video um, do I regret getting this piece no I don't because again this will be a piece that I'll have for years and be able to pass down my daughter I think jewelry is one of those items that is great to pass down to your you know your kids and your grandchildren and their grand and their children so um, even if it's you know even if it's costume jewelry you know what I'm saying but it's good costume jewelry because it's coming from a you know a good you know reputable brand so um, I feel like I'll have this for years and be able to pass it down to my daughter I want to get some more um, luxury or um, jewelry that I can pass down you know wear now and then pass down and something that you know will just be with me for years like this I can I would wear this you know in my 60s you know what I'm saying it's just kind of would probably be more it probably be more appropriate to wear in my 60s actually because it's just one of those big huge gaudy rings you know but I love it so yeah I don't regret buying it I love it I wear it every chance I get um and yes yeah, so I love that and then the next thing I got 
um and it's so cute it came in like this little this little bag i love this i got this at, again around my birthday in january and it's just a gucci brooch very very similar to the ring um very so much very so much so matches my ring and anytime i wear the my ring i try to wear the brooch or vice versa anytime i wear the brooch i try to remember to wear the ring because it just matches so perfectly um but this is the brooch and i love it so cute i try to wear it as much as i can as well and again one of those pieces that i'll have for years and will pass be able to pass down to my daughter she'll be able to pass down to her daughter and just so on and so forth so i just just love that like family heirlooms is what i look at it as so i just love that and i don't regret buying it i do wear it um whenever i can remember because i do keep it boxed up so sometimes when you keep your stuff boxed up you you kind of don't remember that you have it but i don't regret buying it at all i love it and i'm actually thinking about buying another brooch because i love brooches because they just dress up a look dress up an outfit just kind of make your outfit a little bit more interesting so so that is the next item and then the next item i got is from chanel i actually purchased this off of ebay so this is second hand and it is another brooch and this is what it looks like and i absolutely love it as well um i love the like the little dangly parts here with the chanel so this is so cute again another cute little costume piece that i will be able to pass down to my daughter she'll be able to pass down to her daughter just yeah i don't regret buying it i got this for my birthday as well um back in january so this was actually part of that huge luxury unboxing that i did or luxury haul that i did back in january and this was featured in it so yeah i love this as well again like i said i'm a huge fan of brooches and i don't in the least bit um regret buying this so very very much so well uh worth it so um so yeah so that is the jewelry um slash like brooches so now i'm going to share share with you guys sunglasses and um the first pair i got are these i don't know do you guys consider ray-ban luxury I guess it's like mid-level luxury because these aren't i mean they're pricey for sunglasses but they're not the most expensive so anyway i'll go ahead and include them so they're like this like square framed um ray-bans i love ray-ban sunglasses i have another pair in like an oval shape and um, i love them i love ray-bans i love these because the frames is just you know nice and square and huge and oversized so and I love the gradient effects. And yeah, I got these from Nordstrom. Um, I want to say I got these um, during the summertime or maybe spring. Spring or summer. I got these with some more pieces that I'm going to share with you guys too. But yeah, these I got from Nordstrom. And yeah, I love them. They're very, they kind of look very retro and very 70s. I think that's why I purchased these. Because I like the 70 vibes, the 70s vibes in the uh, uh, summertime. So that's why i got these so yeah love those i don't know would you guys consider raven to be luxury i don't know you guys let me know down in the comments um so the next um pair of sunglasses i got are they're basically the same but they're um just in different colorways and so these are by gucci and these are old that these are like an old style um but I got them actually off of Amazon because Amazon do sell luxury pieces as well. So I really love these. Again, these kind of oversized frames. And I love like the little Gucci on the side. I just thought that was really cute. Not very subtle, right? But anyway, I thought it was really cute. And I love like the tortoise shell um, frames. And I love the gradient effect. Do these have a gradient? No, they don't have a gradient. I thought these had a gradient, but they don't in the lens. But yeah, I love these and yeah i've been wearing these all summer long just yeah really nice really really nice they're very they're actually kind of plain but i think the little gucci symbol on the on the um arms kind of makes them a little bit adds a little something to them so um and i also have them in the black i think the black has a gradient maybe it doesn't um, but I really love the black ones because I love black oversized sunglasses. And so I just, when I saw them in the tortoise shell, I knew I had to get them in the black as well. So, yeah, I love these. Either these are just like some I don't want to be bothered, don't talk to me kind of sunglasses. Like your rich auntie sunglasses. Like, yes, I love these. Um, and they have like, I don't know if you can see, but they have like, did I, 
looks like I've scratched these. Have I scratched these up? Oh my god, I hope I haven't. No, I guess they're just they're just a little dirty. Yeah, I need to clean them off. They are super dirty. Um, or not dirty, but just neat dusting. Or did I? Oh gosh, I hope I didn't. Oh, it looks like I did. It looks like I've scratched them up. But anyway, so they have like the little Gucci um, little symbol here or a little thing here on it. So, gosh, I've scratched these up. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks so bad. I hate when I scratch up my sunglasses because I have a pair of Prada sunglasses that I got years ago that I have it has a huge scratch on them and oh god I hate that I try to be more careful with my stuff but sometimes you know things happen all right so those are the um like jewelry and sunglasses so now we'll do let me just do the handbag all right and the first handbag um I want to share is this one I get the most questions about this one um this is the Gucci from Gucci of course and it's just like in the canvas print this is another piece that I got for my birthday back in January this was part of that huge haul luxury haul that I did and I love this bag it's just very very much so practical for me like I don't have anything in it but as you can see like I've been taking pretty care I've taken pretty good care of it as far as the inside I try to be careful as far as when I place things in here like if it, it does have like a little mark on it on the side here that looks like it looks like I can probably just clean that off but the inside is made out of suede so that's what kind of scared me about getting this bag initially but I've kept it I've kept it clean I've had it almost a year and I've kept it pretty much clean so um yeah I love it I like I said I get the most questions about this bag um than any other item that I purchased as far as luxury. So I get the most questions about it and I don't at all regret regret getting it. I'm so glad I did get it. Um and I was worried that the canvas that would be hard to keep clean, but it it's it's still in good tip top shape and it's almost a year that I've had this bag. And I typically wear this bag every day. This bag is probably my most worn bag just out of all the bags that I own, not just the um the luxury bags but out of all the bags that I own this year this probably has been my most worn bag and because it just kind of it, it it's like small but it fits all of my basic things that I need like my keys my wallet if I want to take some um, like lip gloss or any kind of lip products with me you know like everything I need it fits in here it fits my phone so it's definitely like an everyday bag and I've noticed the price has gone up on this bag since I re since I got it. Like it was, I think it was under a thousand when I got it, and now it's up like twelve something or thirteen, maybe more than that. I don't know. So it's gone. The price is going up, I guess. Um, but when I got it, I think it was just first coming out. So I guess that's why it was a little bit cheaper. And now I guess I don't know. I have no explanation as to why the price is going up. Maybe because of the pandemic. I don't know. But. Um, I definitely don't have any regrets getting this bag and definitely um, would highly recommend it if you're looking for like a luxury bag like a small one and you want to get one from Gucci then I would definitely recommend this one so um, because it just goes I found that it just goes with everything it goes with you know neutral outfits it goes with outfits with pops of color because I wear a lot of outfits with like black and neutral and so and then I also like to inject some color and it just this just bag just goes with everything so because it has the brown a little bit of brown and beige and black it's just I found one of those bags that just goes with everything in my wardrobe and so um, if you're gonna spend that much money on a bag you definitely want to get your wear out of it and I will say this year I want to say I've already got my cost per wear out of this bag like literally like because that's just how much I've worn it so I don't regret buying it I love it and sometimes I have to make myself stop wearing it because I wear it so much but yeah so that is my Gucci bag that I love and get so many questions about and you know if you guys have any other questions about it don't you know feel free to ask because um, I do have a whole review on that bag so I'm trying not to go too much in depth with it because I do have a review which I will link down below we'll put up here so you guys can watch see the review but um yeah I don't regret at all getting that bag all right so my next bag um is from Prada this one I got from Farfetch um the I'm, I guess I should told should have told you guys where I got most of these things because I don't think I even mentioned where I got the items from um my Gucci bag I think we got that I think I got that in store because or did I get that from Farfetch? I think I got that from Farfetch, yeah. My Gucci bag I got from Farfetch. 
Um, the sunglasses, I think I told you guys, the Gucci sunglasses, I got those from Amazon. The um, Gucci brooch, I actually got that from the actual Gucci boutique. Um, and then the Ray-Ban sunglasses, I got those. I think I told you guys I got those from Nordstrom. So, yes, I think that's everything. I try to keep up telling you guys where I got everything. So, the next one is my Prada bag. I got this from Farfetch. And um, this is just like a very, a, a tote bag. Like, I wanted a tote bag because I had was kind of debating whether or not I wanted to get the YSL one, which is a huge tote, tote bag, or this one. And I knew I wanted to get a tote bag. Um... And I didn't want to get a big one. And this one is a good size for me. Um, and even still, this is probably too big. I don't carry a lot of stuff. Like the older I've gotten, it just I just don't want to carry a whole lot of, a lot of stuff around. I just, I don't know what that is. Like when I was younger, I would carry everything around in my bag. Everything except the kitchen sink. And now that I've gotten older, I just want the basics, the essentials. Like I don't want to go in my bag and just be like digging and diving for things, you know. Because I feel like when you have a big bag, that's what you do. Is you like digging and diving trying to find things so um but this one it has a bunch of paper in it it has a lot of my paperwork in it so um yeah I don't know why I have all this stuff in here um so yeah I love the inside as you can see I have done a whole you know review on this bag as well so I will link it up here so you guys can watch it so I'm not gonna do an in-depth review on it because I've already done that but so do I regret buying this bag um I feel like I could have done without without it I really do I feel like I could have definitely been okay if I hadn't gotten it like it's not it's I wear it but I don't wear it as much as my Gucci bag um and it's just because of the fact that it doesn't close you know so it, like it doesn't close it's a tote bag right so it's not supposed to close so if I do have anything valuable I tend to have to put it in like this little part here so that if you know someone tries to reach in and grab something they won't at least they won't get them up my most valuable stuff which would be like my wallet you know I put my wallet in here um but to be honest with you I could have done without it like I don't foresee myself keeping this bag for years like I probably will eventually sell this because yeah it's just it's just not like a, a bag that I go to a lot you know I say that now but I may you know fall back in love with it but I do wear it like mostly if I'm like going out um when I say going out like on a date night I'll wear it to date night with my husband um, but it's not one of those like everyday bags, you know what I'm saying? This is more so of a bag that I wear, um, like date night or I wouldn't run errands with this bag because like I said, it's just so big and all I would need was my wallet. So I don't want to carry a big bag just because just to, you know, reach for my wallet, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out, you know, different ways I can make this work because, you know, it is a tote bag and it's small enough to carry my stuff, but I'm thinking I may get a bigger tote bag so that like I can carry stuff like my laptop like if we go out of town and stuff like that I can carry my laptop and you know some other things that I need um like if we go out of town so I think that's why I didn't get that bag that YSL bag is because I was thinking I don't go out of town like that and I don't need that big bag but now that I'm thinking about it, it probably would have been better for me to get that one as opposed to this one so but i love it you know i love prada like i said prada is just one of those brands that i will always love i think it's just very classy brand so um but i don't know it's a cute bag um i i, I don't know do i do i regret buying it yeah a little bit <laughs> i regret buying it a little bit you know um i don't i wouldn't say it was an impulse purchase because i like i said i did want a tote bag and i want so i wanted to get a small one try a small one and see um but yeah i just don't i don't wear it as much so i don't know as as of right now we're gonna say i regret buying it and i could have you, you know spent that money on something else so but it's a cute bag and you know i'll continue to wear it until i get tired of it and decide to sell it so stay tuned you may if you're still following me by the time i sell this bag you know and you want it then just know it's on the radar to, be, to one day possibly be sold so all right so now we're gonna get into the shoes all right and the first pair of shoes i have are these and these are by chloe and i got these over the summertime i got these from nordstrom i got them the same time i got those ray-ban sunglasses and yeah these i got in a size 40 and yeah i love them um i didn't get to wear them as much because i kind of got them towards the tail end of the summertime so i didn't wear them quite as much 
as um, I would have hoped to, but hopefully by next spring and summer, I'll be able to break these out and wear them. Because every time I wore them, which wasn't a lot, I got tons of compliments. I mean, you would, wouldn't think you would get compliments on a shoe like this, but I got tons of compliments. And I, you know, was reading reviews about them and, you know, contemplating whether or not I wanted to get them. And because of people said that they hurt their foot. Um, but I would say that I have a narrow foot, so they are fine with my foot. But I, th I feel like if you have a wide foot, then yeah, these probably would kind of dig into your foot right here at the toe. Um, so I think that's most of the comp, you know, the complaints that I would hear from these shoes was that they kind of cut into like your toe here. They're like tight. So, um, but I don't have that problem. You know, I don't have a problem with them sliding off my foot, you know, cause you know, some slides when you walk, they, how they slide off your foot. Don't have that issue with these. So, um, so I don't regret buying these. I actually want to get them in the like cream or, or beige or off white color. Cause they came in like several different colors. Like they came in black and I think cream, beige, uh, pink. Uh, I think the one I would say they came in red too. But I just want to get them in the beige and the black where the beige is the ribbon part and, it, and the writing is in black. Um, I want to get those. So hopefully they'll come out or I may look and see if I can find them and maybe possibly get them for my birthday to wear for the spring and summertime. But yeah, definitely love these shoes. Don't at all regret buying them and they fit just fine they're comfortable i can walk you know a good bit you know long time in these without any issues so yeah definitely don't regret buying those all right then the next pair of shoes are the gucci loafers and like i said i got them um i had the, as i was saying when i showed you guys the white ones i got them in a different color and this is the color i got them in so and it's like in this like taupey color and love these they just they look good on my foot like i don't know what that is like they look good with my on my skin tone but um yeah so as you can see i've been getting my fair wear out of these like you can even see they kind of been worn a lot um and i really love these shoes like i said these i got in a size 40 and um they 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 stay on my foot like they don't slide off or anything like that only thing i would say is like the bottom of these shoes because it's like slick like they kind of slippery like you got to be careful if you're like walking on the slippery like on a slippery floor but um these are starting to wear in so i don't have that problem as much now but they're very much for wearing in so i feel like i'm gonna have to take them to like a shoe you know repair shop and like get them to like resold them because i really want to continue to have these for years too these are shoes that i want to keep and have for years as well and they do have some wear on them actually here which i hate that i'm hoping maybe i can get that fixed or you know or buffed out but yeah these are shoes i will never get rid of i will always have and if they mess up i will take them to a shoe store you know some kind of shoe repair shop and get them to fix these because i love them so much that's why i got them in the white and why i'm hoping i can get them in the red as well so um but yeah don't regret buying these my husband got these actually for me at the gucci store we went we went to the gucci store i got these i got the ring that i'm wearing and i also got the brooch the gucci brooch so all those came from the actual gucci store here in our um in our mall down here or here in atlanta so yeah so i don't regret buying these at all um i probably don't wear them as much as i should even though you can see they're very much so worn in but 100 percent don't regret buying these super glad that my husband got them for me for my birthday and so yeah love those all right and the final item i got that Huh. Okay, yeah. I got the Prada loafers in this like chocolate brown color. I don't know. They're coming off looking burgundy on camera. I don't know. Um, but they're in the color tobacco. That's what the color it was described as when I got them off of um, Nordstrom. So these came from Nordstrom. I got these when I got the Chloe sandals and when I got the Ray-Ban sunglasses. So I got the Prada loafers and I wanted these in this color. Actually, I saw these on another blogger but the sole was like a kind of like brownish kind of like a camel color so i wanted those but i could never find them so i saw these in the black um with the black sole and just thought they were so cute and just different these are actually a men's shoe i got these from the men's section um in prada or from nordstrom and so yeah i love them as you can see they're in pristine condition because i don't hardly wear these because these are these are a pain okay like not a pain as far as like 
I don't even know how to describe it. They just have to be broke in. These are real, like real, real, real shoes. Okay. Like these ain't no, no, these are like real shoes, shoes that you got to break in. And you know, these are probably, these are not probably, these are the most expensive shoes that I have in my wardrobe and they had created the most painful blisters on my heels when I first started wearing them. And I just was like, I, I, I don't know. I thought about getting a size up, but then because the fact that these are, they got these in eight and a half, I think. Um, let's see if I can find the size. I think I got them in an eight and a half in men's. Pretty sure, because that's what I wear in men's. And so I figured if I got in a nine, then they would slide off my foot. So these just fit, like, and they kind of slide a little bit even with the eight and a half. So they just fit, but they kind of, I don't know, they're just made weird. I don't know. Um, so I've been doing all kinds of things to kind of get, break these shoes in. I have like a sh one of those shoe, um, what do you call those things? Like shoe stretchers that I got off Amazon that I put in them to kind of stretch them out. But the issue is not here. Like the, those shoe stretchers are kind of trying to stretch it here. The issue isn't here. The issue is actually in the heel. So, and the shoe stretcher does actually stretch the heel part, but yeah, just, it can only, you know, stretch it so much. Like these are shoes that you just have to continue to wear and break them in and that's the only thing i hate about hate about these shoes is the fact that they have to be broken in and i just want to for me i just want to get a shoe and wear it and not have to worry about breaking it in but when it comes to expensive shoes you just i found and i heard just from different people talking about you know like these higher end shoes that they just have to be broken in and so um as it stands now, they they finally are. I can finally wear these and be com and be comfortable and not be like wanting to like take them off and throw them in the trash. Um, but do I regret buying these? Because that's what we're here for, right? Um, no, I don't regret buying them because I do love them and every time I wear them, I get compliments, which is not why I can you know, I want to keep them. It's because I get compliments. It's because I love the style of them and they're just so just they're just so beautifully made. I mean, the craftsmanship on these is just top top tier um and i just love them and i won't ever get rid of these it's just it's just the more i wear them the more they'll they'll break in the more comfortable they'll be and yeah i can you know pass these down to my daughter which actually she probably would not be able to wear these because her foot is getting is growing so she probably wouldn't be able to wear these much longer if her foot continues to grow i don't know we'll probably be able to wear the same shoes um so she can wear these too you know we although i probably wouldn't allow her to wear them to certain places like school uh, uh but yeah these are just shoes that i'll just have for years like i said and the more i wear them the more break you know the more they'll break in and actually the better they'll start looking too because right now like i said they're in pristine condition but once they I start breaking them in yeah they will look they will look fabulous they'll just be like one of those lived in shoes and just be so fabulous like i could see myself in my 60s wearing these shoes you know my 50s and my 60s wearing these shoes and just being you know that's that stylish you know grandma you know what i'm saying so i just think about crazy stuff like that um but yeah so i don't regret buying them i just regret the fact that i have to break them in i had to break them in but now they're they're now i can manage to wear them and not you know feel like i made a huge mistake in buying them so but yeah, so I love these. And again, these are in the um, tobacco color. I get a lot of questions, people um, trying to find these shoes because I think, I guess they come in another color, but I guess people haven't been able to find them. So I'll try to link everything that I showed you guys today. I will try to link down in the comments or down, yeah, down in the, in the, com in the description box. What am I trying to say? I'm tired. It's been a long video. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for bearing with me um, because I had a lot of stuff to show, but. Yeah, so that's it. Those are all the luxury purchases of the year and also my unboxing. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some inspiration. Like I said, I will try to link everything down below that I can um, if I can still find these pieces and try to link everything down below in case you're interested in, you know, getting them for yourself. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is the last video of the year. So, you know, end of the year right on a good on a good note with some luxury pieces. So hopefully, I'm manifesting 2022. I'll be able to purchase more luxury pieces because it's all about quality over quantity at this point. So 
yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next year and yeah so happy new year for those of you that i won't see until next year so all right bye guys